Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and the Grays. I'm Kylie, and we're gonna go walk around the farm and see what, we have been doing a lot of garden prep. Yesterday was actually a big day for it, and we're gonna go in, let's go into the little garden, and see if a couple videos ago, I did a teeny, showed you what it was looking like, so if you saw that video, you could really appreciate this. Here should be, these chickens are just, used to being in here, so now they're like, every time I leave, Get up, chicken. Every time I leave the gate open, they're like walking in. Finally finished out the logs, just defining the beds a smidge. Wood mulch we used in here is a dark hemlock, and so it looks so similar to the compost that when people would come into the garden, they wouldn't, oh, chicken, no, 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 out, 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 out. I thought I closed that gate. We put the logs around it last year just to give it some definition so people could tell what's the bed. And I think it did good. We got all, most of our gnomes out. I think I have one or two more that aren't out here. Right now this ground is still very frozen. The garden beds are raked up. We got all the, the chickens had this. So this benefit, look, there's multiple benefits for chickens being in your garden. Like one, they, till up and get all the weed seeds and eat those and it really helps you out on the weed pressure in the f for the following year but then they also till it up and fling all the soil out of your beds onto the pathways and yesterday the pathways were so they were so full of compost and soil that we just had to really rake it. So the first few inches in most parts of the garden are unthought. I'd say like three or four inches. And then some parts of the garden are so pretty frozen solid. <laughs> and you can, maybe not solid, you can tell they're unthawing. Yeah, so this, we plant, I was just looking back on, we didn't have YouTube last spring or the spring before and I was looking back on when we planted and it seems like we started back in April 15th, 2019 on this space. So this is our third season going into this garden. It's our third season going into no dig. And with no dig, you do create less weeds. On your third year, is supposed to be your sweet spot. The, with, I think this exception is like, um, we brought in, we had, this is the first time we used our own compost was last, two falls ago, we put our own compost on. There was a lot of weed seeds in it, just from the manure from the cows and the goats from the hay. We had a lot more weed pressure last year than our first year because of that mistake. After we got this space cleaned up yesterday, and I, it was just like, I hadn't hardly, we had been doing a ton of work in the greenhouse and out in the market garden. And finally, the ice melted off this place enough where we could get to work on it. And let me tell you, this is where, this is where it, my, I don't know, I've loved gardening. I had a garden when we lived in West Virginia and it was small and it was tilled and it was the last time I ever t had a tilled garden. And this is really where the love of gardening came from is in this garden. So every year when it comes along and we get this garden ready to go, it, it's like awakening. It's like, yeah, we've been doing the hard work of the market garden, getting that prepared. But that is, I do love that still, but it's still work. Here in this garden, it's, it's not. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like she's coming alive again and we're just helping her get there. And she's, this is, this space right here is my favorite place in the whole world, the whole world. I know it's crazy, but this space and this piece of land, she's the best. Now we still have a little bit of sprucing left to do. We need to, the lights from the winter fell down over here and I still need to get those up. Then we're gonna add, today we're gonna add a fresh layer of composted horse manure to the top of these beds. They have plenty, I think they'd be perfectly fine this year because the chickens were in here all winter and fall that they've probably done their job. But I just wanna add, I like to add soil to my beds just for height purposes. And it's, I mean, it's gonna be perfect in here. So we'll add some more composted horse manure today. Bedding, it's like a mixture of bedding and horse manure. It's like four years, three, four or five years old. And that'll be perfect. And this garden should be ready to plant next week, but might not be. 
We might have to do it the following week and that's okay. I had just watched one of Jess from Roots and Refuge's newest videos and she was talking about planting like just because it's the earliest time to plant doesn't mean it's I don't know something about even though it so here's flashy he's the one who's just a cute little garden kitty yeah so we are we might not be able to plant next week but I'll probably be starting planting the market garden next week maybe I might wait on that too it just really doesn't matter here because it gets, the soil is still so cold that I'm not freaking you out <laughs> are you scared of the camera look are you scared of it? Is that what the problem is? Is that why you didn't want to come to me? All right. Flash <laughs> has been a garden kitten since he was a teeny tiny baby last year. He'll be, he's probably about a year old, almost a year old. Planting starts next week, in the next two weeks, I should say. Are you coming? Let's go to the market garden and see what's new with that because I feel like there's a lot new. The market garden, we have used almost all our cardboard. We have a little bit of scraps back here. They're kind of just not very good. When you're doing a lot of spaces with cardboard, like a lot of beds, you realize that the little tiny pieces of cardboard just aren't worth your time. <laughs> and so you really want the big ones. Gabe has been working hard on these beds. He's been getting a lot done. So basically these beds are getting done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds done on this side. And we have another one, two, three left to do. This right here is a unique experiment. So I had talked to you about silage tarps, which the black plastic we have right, where is it? Right there. That is tradition. That is traditionally used in gardens but we had this gray plastic left over from the ice rink and I texted one of my friends and I was like, do you think that gray plastic would work the same way? And she was like, I wouldn't see why not. So clear plastic, now I don't know the technical names for these. Whoa. I don't know the technical names for these but I can kind of essentially just tell you what they are. So the clear plastic you can use and put over a bed and it works kind of like a it works the same way a greenhouse would, except it's a little more intense because you're not letting air out. So it actually kills the weeds by burning them, which is what the same thing you're doing with the black plastic. That black plastic, if you flip it around, has a white side, and that is used for, a lot of people use it for germination. So if I seeded a bed of carrots, watered them, I could put that same plastic on it with white side up, to keep the soil underneath moist and also because if carrots dry out or basically any seedling dries out they die or seed so plastic like that unless you're on top of it if like we live in a very dry area and I've never had to do that before I've never put plastic over my carrots or a lot I've seen people put plywood or boards over their carrots after they sow them the seeds it works great you just have to make sure as soon as they germinate you get it off I might try it this year I don't know so I'm using that black plastic on that bed because it had a lot of bad weeds and these three beds had some really bad weeds the wire grass I've talked to you guys about a million times it's crazy and it's growing up insane and especially in this middle bed no I'm sorry in this first bed right here it's growing up insane so I thought maybe that the gray plastic would do something something in between the clear plastic and the black plastic I have no idea so we're gonna leave it on for at least three weeks and see what happens and hopefully it does the job for us because we are running out of cardboard and we still have all of the flower garden beds that haven't even touched at all with cardboard no, yeah, yeah. This is the point in life where I'm like, oh my gosh, we're doing so good. We got so much done, so much done. But also I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is a lot of work. I might consider actually buying rolls of cardboard. I've seen it like Ace or Lowe's has, any hardware store has it where it's just like long things. And maybe I should 
invest in that for, I hate buying it because I like to get it for free if we can. My husband has been bringing some home from work. They get a bunch of big boxes, which has been extremely helpful. And he just brings them home and he's brought them home all winter. And there was a point in the winter I was like, oh, you gotta stop bringing them home. We're running out of space. And now I'm regretting that decision. I wish I would have just been like, we're gonna make more space because if I would have just did it a few more months, we would have had enough cardboard stored up from winter to do the whole garden. Oh well, it is what it is at this point. So we are attempting this. We have all sorts of random mishmash holding it down so it doesn't blow away in the winds. And today we're gonna compost the little garden beds and pro we probably have enough cardboard to do at least one of these small beds up here, maybe both of them. The greenhouse is still doing its thing. Still doing good, everybody's happy in there. And I've showed you, and we've seen the pathways here for the flower garden, so this is the main area. And then we're gonna go behind the greenhouse. And the girls, our interns yesterday, put out some more plastic for these three beds back here. So these are also going to be flower beds. It's nice when the weed fabric's down because you can see where we're planting everything. We do five foot wide pathways. No, I'm sorry. Five, three foot wide pathways, five foot wide beds. We are also gonna be having some more over here. On this side of the garden has just kind of, wasn't, it was hardly used at all last year. My boys' dirt piles here, they play on it every day. We are gonna get that moved over closer to the fence and that'll give us some more bed space like we need it, but it is nice to have. So, and their dirt pile just keeps encroaching in over here. So to have a nice set, Set it back a little ways, I think will be just greatly appreciated. So Lord willing, this plastic does its job. We could put a second layer. That was my friend's idea is maybe put a second layer over top of it, which we have plenty of plastic to do it. And that would make it a lot darker. So there's the update on the farm, yo. It's coming along, coming along. Hey guys, well, <coughs> oh my goodness. Look at it, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. No, it's not so bad. What about that thing? What is that, huh? It's not so bad. 